Hey there, it's Theo from ITH Media. And in this video, I wanna talk about artificial intelligence for medical spa and uh, aesthetic clinics. Um, so all the clinics that offer, you know, reg uh, skin rejuvenation treatment, body contouring treatments, laser hair removal, hair loss treatments, or any aesthetic treatments, can AI actually help you grow your clinic and get more customers? So I'm gonna give you my take on this. And the quick answer, like spoiler alert, it's the answer is yes, it can, but it's not magical. Okay. Uh, it's not, it is not magical. So the best way for <clears throat> your practice right now to leverage AI is through, you know, content, you know, creating content through AI. But most importantly, the way that we utilize that is with chatbots, you know, chatbots that are going to respond to your potential customers, your leads for you on your behalf. And that basically are robots that will answer all the leads uh, as soon as they become leads. And that will try to convert them, you know, into into uh, booked consultation. So if the technology is good, the answer is yes, the, the technology is really good as of right now. Um, we, we're using it for our own agency at ITH Media. Like if you respond to one of our ads, you get a text message and then we get like our AI bot that sends you a message and that is asking you if you want to book a consultation. And then if you ask any question, you know, to us via SMS, the AI answers it very well. We have like a database of question and it just works fantastically well. Um, but as I mentioned before, it is not magical. And the reason why is because, you know, if you use AI for your clinic, um, yes, you're going to be able to, to answer all your leads, you know, via text in a very, very, very fast, basically in a very good way. And most of the time people think it's an actual human behind the, behind the phone, but it's not magical in the way that it's not going to like, it's not going to actually get people to come in. It's going to help you pre-qualify the leads, but you're still going to have to get them on the phone if you want them to come in. Okay. Because nobody, if you rely on, on the AI chatbot that responds to people via Instagram or SMS to book them in and, and to get them in clinic, these people are not going to show up because they just, you know, even if you can make them book a consultation, like the the no show rate is going to be quite high because people need to speak people still need to speak to humans and to have this human connection in order to to come you know it takes more than sending them text and to you know tell them to come in um it takes more than that so of course some people would show up uh so but but it's not not efficient. You still need to speak with them on the phone. So where AI is actually good is that you can now pre-qualify the leads and you know, ask them a couple questions to make sure they are like warm and hot and ready to buy before you can actually speak with them. And that's the best way to do it, you know, not to rely on, on the AI to book them for a consultation, but to rely on the AI to pre-qualify. Um, a lot of the a lot of our customers, you know, um, they, they that did ads, a lot of them complain that they get like poor quality leads. The problem is not the leads that you get. The problem is that you don't have a system to follow up with them and to get and to filter the tire kickers, you know, because le leads are just leads. A lead is, there's no bad lead. There's no such thing as a bad lead. Like a lead has never been someone that was going to pay, you know, a lead is not a paying customer. So, if you tell me there we, we only have bad leads, I'm like, but that's the definition of a lead. A lead is not supposed to be someone that is going to pay. It's just potential client. Some of them are bad. Some of them are good. So you don't want to complain about that. But with AI, you can make it so, so, so basically AI is going to like filter out the people that are not that interested. It's going to ask questions. How, let's say you do that for late and for, Botox, you know, you'd, you'd say, okay, great. So what area do you want to treat? Have you done Botox before? When would you like to come? How many sessions do you want? You know, things like that. Uh, and then you can set it up. So like when someone 
say something in particular or after a couple of messages, the AI can figure out whether or not the person is interested and then you can have your team like make a call. Um, but again, I want to emphasize that you still need to make that call. And uh, until the point we get like uh, AI that can actually imitate a, a human voice and then can have a conversation over the phone and not sound robotic and be very human and friendly. Until that point, you're going to have to have someone from your team, yourself or, or, or marketing agency, who someone that will help you make those calls. Um, so that's why for us at ITH Media, we really focus on, on the calls quite because um, if you want people to show up, you know, not only to book consultation, but to actually show up, you need to create that connection, that that like um, excitement over the phone to make them excited to come. Because the number one reason people don't show up is because they're not excited enough, you know like aesthetic treatments are not like a need for people that it's more like a, something that you know you just want it so if you get someone on the phone that doesn't seem very doesn't have a really nice energy um then that's gonna like that's not gonna help you so in short i want to say like as of today we're in like the 10th of june 2023 and things I'm, the reason i'm mentioning that is because things are changing so fast and maybe in two months from now like AI will actually be able to um, to book people in, you know, and to be become like a human. So that's definitely going to happen. But right now, it is not a game changer. Um, some people say it's a game changer. And um, personally, I think that right now, because you still need to make the calls, um, it doesn't do much, you know, in terms of uh, like the actual results that you're going to get. Uh, it's probably if you were like the type of like clinic that were calling every lead before without any sort of like pre-qualification and now you get like your AI to to filter out these leads that's going to be quite helpful you know because now you don't have to make to call everyone but if you were if you like outsource like calling to, to someone else because you shouldn't be making the, the calls as a business owner if you outsource that to someone like you're not this person would be filtering out the leads themselves you know so you wouldn't have you wouldn't even need an ai you would you can just have a, a person to do it um so so yeah in that way you know it's not necessarily the the most efficient thing right now so so yeah, just wanted to give you my thoughts on this. Uh, I don't think there's anything else uh, I have in mind. But what I can say is that if you are a clinic owner and you're watching this video, uh, you own a, an aesthetic clinic or medical spa in the UK or anywhere in the world, in the US, Australia, Canada, um, and you want to get more clients, but you're not sure on like how to do it in the most effective way possible, you may have worked with different marketing agency over promising and under delivering it's very typical uh so if you're looking to find like a good agency that can actually deliver results can always go on our website and learn a bit more about what we do we we do everything so lead gen um tiktok facebook instagram ads and we also have a sales team that calls all the leads follow up with all the leads and um and book them in your diary and also get um our sales team is going to collect a prepayment. You know, we're going to collect deposits from these people to make sure they're going to show up and uh, we'll book them in your diary. Right now, on average, we get about 10 to 30 consultations a month for our clients. They make an, an average of two or three times their money back. You can see some of the case studies uh, and testimonials on a web uh, website. You know, you can find the link below um, if you want to check that out. And <clears throat> And yeah, like overall, um that's pretty much like what we do like we set appointments and our, our sales team is incredible you know we just take a lot of pride on on the quality of uh, our sales team and our appointment setters because um like really if you want to if you want to get more appointments like the number one thing that's going to help you uh do that is just the quality of of, of your follow-up process you know and um 
and that's what we put all of our focus on right now. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you have any thoughts on AI or if uh, if if you have any if you've tried or have any question, feel free to put it on the in the comments, and uh, I'll be more than happy to answer you. And also, uh, if you like this video, please leave a like and also subscribe, uh, so you can get notified when I make a new video. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon.